Alright, alright. So I'm going to start opening with uh, Maya. Alright, so what I want to do first is I want to open up my pa panel layout. I'm going to come over the panels. Just pick any one of these panels. And I'm going to go to layouts, two panes side by side. Now right now, this is my top view and my perspective view. I want to switch them so that I get my front view and my side view. So I'll come over to my panels, orthographic, front. Now this is my front view. I will come over here to panels, orthographic, side. Now I'm going to import my image planes by going to image plane, import image, and I'm going to look for that. And I have to come over to my side view and do the same thing. Now I'm going to come over to my front view, come over to the right side where my channel uh, channel box layer editor is, I'm going to click on that, and where it says translate Z, I have to make sure that it is a negative value. And I'll come over to my side view, select my image plane in the side view, make sure this is a negative value and the translate X. I'm also going to move my side view image over this way. I will turn off the grids because they will get in my way. So this is the grid icon right here. And over here, just make sure that it, that, that is off. I'm going to start with my front view first. I will open up my modeling toolkit. And I will come down to quad draw. And I will start with the eye first. I'm going to plot four points just like that, press the shift key, hover my mouse in the middle of the four points, and left click. Put two more points, shift, click. Two more, shift, click. And I'm going to go around the eye. here and in there. I'm going to press Q so I can exit out of the quad draw. I will right click, go to vertex, and I'm going to adjust these points a little bit. I will also turn on my x-ray, which is this icon right here. I'm just selecting the vertices, clean this up a little bit better. A good rule of thumb is to make sure that we don't have any triangles. And we also want to keep the spacing as even as we can.
I'm just going to tighten this up a little bit more. All right, just like that. Now I'm going to go right click, go to edge mode, and select these edges right here by holding the shift key and clicking the edges that I will extrude from. So if I go to the right side of my screen in my modeling toolkit, I will hit the extrude button. I will press R on my keyboard and I'll extrude outwards. Now from there, I will right click and go to vertex mode, select a vertex, press a W and I will move it to follow the contour of the face. And the contour is the surface. So I will place it something like that. Now I want to get to defining the nose. So I will take these two edges, extrude them, I'll press this power button right here, and I'll extrude them just like that. I'll grab these two edges, and I'm going to move them downward. So I'll click the extrude, click that power button, and pull down. Pull down to about here. Now I'm going to use my multi-cut tool to create some edges. If I hold the shift key down, I will be able to slice horizontally. So I'll give myself a few edges right there. I'll press Q to exit out of the tool. Now what I want to do is I want to merge these two vertices together. I'll right click, go to vertex mode, select those two vertices. I'm going to make sure that I am in my modeling menu set. In 2015 it is polygons. So 2016 modeling. I'll click that, go to edit mesh and merge. In 2015 it is edit mesh merge components. So now I am going to follow the shape of the nose by selecting the vertices, pressing W for the move command, and I will just move them into place. And for right now, I'm going to work with half the face. So I'm not going to go on this side. I'm just going to go straight down and fill in all this space right here. Select this edge and I'll extrude it downwards. One right there. If I press the G key, it will allow me to use the same command twice. So the previous command was extrude. If I press the G key, it will allow me to extrude again. Right click, go to vertex mode. Move the points around. Now I'm going to go around the nostril. So I have to select my edge first, go to extrude, 
pull it out right there. Press Q to exit the tool. Right click, go to vertex. Move these points in. Just like that. Now I understand not everybody has a human face for their model. So you're going to have to adjust your modeling style to fit your drawing. Looks like I need another, in order for me to connect this to here, I'm going to need another edge loop. So to do that, I have to go to Mesh Tools, Insert Edge Loop Tool. I'll just click on this edge right here, and I'll draw it out just like that. I'll press Q to exit out, go into Vertex Mode, and I want to merge this vertex to this vertex. Edit Mesh, Merge. Same with these, edit mesh, merge. Now I can move these around. Okay, just like that. Move this to the center. up a little bit just keep tweaking Go in edge mode, extrude upwards, just like that. And for this part, I want to merge these two vertices together. And mesh, merge. And I'm just going to move it back into place. Follow the shape of the face a little bit better. I see the mo the nose moves down like this, so I'm just going to adjust the vertices. Now I'm going to go down to the mouth. And to do that, I'll select these edges right here, extrude them down, and go into vertex mode. And it looks like I need some detail in here, so all I have to do is use my multi cut tool and draw out the uh, draw out the contour. Now I'll press Q to exit out the uh, tool and we can continue to define the mouth extrude it extrude it down this way I'll press E to rotate that way it follows the mouth better right click go into vertex mode and I'll move those points down like that Use my multi cut. I 
And uh, it looks like I could use some more detail over here too as well. Let's define this like that. Mesh tools, insert edge loop tool. I'll place one edge loop right here. It looks like this is too much of a gap over here, so I will add another edge loop in there as well. Press Q, right click, go to vertex, and continue the shape. Let's curve this over more like that. Move these up, move this down a little bit. I'm going to continue the mouth, select those three edges, use the extrude, pull it down like this, press E to rotate it. Just like that. Right click, go to vertex mode. And adjust as I go. Select these edges. Extrude. I'm just going to go all the way over here, rotate it like that. I'll press G for another extrude, pull it out, rotate it by pressing E, W for move. I'm going to bring it right to the middle, something like that. Now I'm going to define the chin, select that, extrude, go all the way down, just like that, just like that, extrude, pull it out this way, and I'm going to merge these two verts together, go and right click, go to vertex mode, edit mesh merge. Now I can evenly space these, pull it down like that. I'm going to do the forehead by selecting these edges here and extrude. I'm going to pull it all the way up the head. I can see in my side view that the head, if you didn't have any hair, it would go all the way up through here. Something like that. So I'm just going to pull it up roughly to where I think that's going to be. Curve it down. Now I'm going to fill in this side of the face. I'm going to go from the nose, extrude, I'm going to pull it out this way, and I'm going to match the amount of edges to the eye. And I want to merge these two verts together, add a mesh merge, and I don't want to pull this all the way over here, so what I want to do is I want to get another edge loop this way. 
take my multi-cut tool, go from here to here, oops, click on that here, and like that, press Q to exit out, and I'm going to merge these two vertices. Okay, same thing here, select these edges, go to extrude, Click it like that. Oh, and then merge these two verts together. Mesh merge. And it mesh merge. I'm just moving the vertices around to follow the contour of the face. Okay, something like that and like that. Select these edges, extrude them, same thing, we want to go into vertex mode and merge those vertices together. Alright, go down here, and mesh, merge. Go into edge now that these are this is the chin is connected to these cheek faces. I can now grab this whole edge line and extrude it. Okay, I'm just going to right click, go to vertex mode, move that up like that, and I'm going to merge these two vertices together. Mesh merge. I'm going to move the verts around so that I can follow the face much better. Move this down here, move this down. Uh, it looks like I want to get another loop here and another loop in here. Multi-cut and just click right there, press Q, and I will go back into the tool and do another one over here. There we go, press Q. Looks like I can add some details. down. All right, just keep in mind that everybody's going to have a different result because not everybody has the same face that I'm working on. Now I'm going to close up the lips. Just click on these edges in here. Use my extrude. I'll press the R key for scale and I'll scale it downwards. Right click, go to vertex, and just move it over to the center line. 
move this also over to the center line right there and just get in there and move them around Just zoom in and out just to take a look at the overall shape. Okay, it looks okay. So I uh, will go in here. All right, so I am going to grab these edges here. And Yes, only these ones. I don't want the corner. Grab the extrude. Move it down. Go into vertex mode. And I'm just going to make sure that this is not overlapping. Okay, now I'm going to grab these edges here and I'm going to extrude them upwards. Same thing, I'm going to make sure that they're not overlapping each other. Spread this out a little bit. You know what? I think it makes more sense to delete this face right here and just merge these two vertices together. I want to match the bottom to the top because there is another edge loop right here and over here there's none so I have to add one in there. Go to Mesh Tools, Insert Edge Loop, I'm going to click over here so I can match it to the top half of the face. I'm going to right click, go to Vertex Mode and I'm just going to further refine the shape of his face. Bring it down over here. Something like that. Actually, I see that I need, there's two more edges here, so I shouldn't close off the face just yet. Just bring this over here. Let's move this up, giving myself more room for another extrude. So I'm going to take these two edges, extrude, press the power button, I'm going to go all the way over here. I'll press the G key 
We go all the way over here, press E for rotate, like that, W, and I'll move it, I'll move it like this. And I'm just going to fill in the amount of edge loops to what's already there. So this outer edge loop, I'm going to make sure that I have a line connecting it to every single one. So I'm going to just multi-cut, slash right, right there, in there, I could zoom in, go in there, right there, two, and one more. Press the Q key. And now we're going to, I'm going to show you how to use the bridge tool. Now I'm not going to merge these verts because there's one right here. So we're going to use the bridge to fill in the gaps. And to do that, I'm going to select all these edges. And then we have to select the edges that we are going to bridge to. Okay, make sure that this one is not selected. We go to bridge, and I'm going to change the, the divisions to zero. I'll press enter. Now it filled the face in. So now I just got to go into vertex mode, and I just got to move them around. Keep adjusting. I'll keep moving these verts up. So I can move these in. I'm just going to pull and pull. All right, nice. And now I'm just going to use my multi-cut. Give myself some vertices right there. And now I'm going to use my side view by um, selecting the center line. But first I'm going to make sure that it is um, all straight. So I'm going to press R and I'm going to scale it inwards just like that. 
just keep on scaling until it is totally even. I'll select all the center line pieces. I'll use W in my side view now. Pull it forward. I'll click on the X-ray. And now I can start outlining his head one point at a time. So at this point it's really important to keep your reference image uh, very lined up. Lined up exactly or as close as you can. Just going one by one. And I'm only moving it horizontally along the Z axis. All right, now I'm going to grab, go into edge mode, and if you click on one edge and double click, it'll try to follow the, the rest of the loop down. Grab that, and go all the way over here. Yeah, something like that. The vertex mode, and I'm doing the exact same thing. I'm just pulling it horizontally. So this is the second row. Pulling it in. Just like that. really shouldn't be that far back. That's the nose. Goes here. This one is here. Let's pull them in. Actually goes forward a little bit. Where is this? This is the nostril. So it goes in there. This is also that part of the nostril. Okay. Where is this? This is right here. Bottom of the lip. And what you want to do is you want to do this for the rest of your points. All right. I'm going to select these two nostril points. Bring it all the way up over here. Okay. 
I'm just going to grab my uh, perspective view. Just make sure that everything is um, looking all right. I'm going to turn off my x-ray. Go into object mode. Now this is what it looks like right now. But if I could continue to pull the verts to where they're supposed to be, it'll fill out the shape of the face. So I'll go back into my four view, drag that up. I could turn my x-ray back on again. And I'll continue to pull some edges. So I just did this edge. I'm going to select this one. And this one. And this one. Use my side view. Actually, I didn't do these yet. So you could do that edge loop at a time. Oops. All right, over here, bring it all the way up. Go into vertex mode and keep repeating the process. So I did this loop already. Go back into edge of the uh, edge mode. I'm gonna go edge. I'm gonna go loop by loop. Oops, I'm going to control Z that to undo. This right here isn't looking correct to me, so I'm just going to pull this over here. I think this looks more like it should be. Alright, now I gotta do this edge loop. Bring it in. Right click vertex mode. I'm just gonna keep on going. So modeling using a reference image comes down to two things. You extrude your vertices along the contours, all right? Merge what you have to merge, and then go into vertex mode and moving them in the correct place in both views. So I'm going to go to this edge loop now. I'll pull it all the way over here. I like to go top down. So this is the corner of the lip. Pull that in like that. To make it easier to see what I'm doing because they're all similarly lined up in the vertical axis. I'm just moving them one by one out of the way. Now this goes all the way to the chin. So I'll pull this all the way over here. This goes back. 
Uh oh. Okay, pull that over like that. And follow the contour of the face. Just like that. Now for the lip, I'm just selecting vertex by vertex and pulling them forward. Press forward. Just the corner of the mouth. Bring that all the way up. Where's this point? This is the corner of the mouth, so I just gotta bring this all the way forward as well.
I'm going to go back to perspective view. And you can see it's starting to shape up. I just select those points. Go back here. Move them. Right here is the outline of the nose, so I will fit that there. Right there. That's the cheekbone. Go along the cheekbone. Now I can go row by row. Edge. So I need all of these. Pull them forward. And then go one by one. keep pulling them
So right there what I did was I was just trying to figure out which vertices I had left by selecting and deselecting. Corner of the eye. Bring it in. Move this forward. Move this back. I can go back to my perspective view, see what I have left to do, and I know all I have left to do is the eye. I'll just fix this up a little bit in my perspective view. Um, I can just grab that, move it forward a little bit. Then I will look over here in my top, move this forward a little bit. All right, always remember to go check your perspective view for mistakes. Move this forward. So it looks like um yep all I have to do is figure out this eye I just press spacebar right there and it's not lined up exactly so I just got to Now this inside corner you just have to make sure that it is not as far as the outside corner. So we're going to bring it up a little further. What is this part right here? All right, so that's that. What is this? This part right here looks like a mistake. So I'm just going to use my multi cut. 
Click right there, press enter. Press Q. We'll delete this edge. Go back into my multi cut and I'll cut right right there. That way I have all quads. This also looks wrong. Let's go to my perspective view. The eye you would probably want to move around a perspective view because it's just pretty hard to see what you're doing in the uh, orthographic views. Just keep on tweaking. Right, too, there's too much of a gap here, so I'm just going to add in an edge loop. I'm going to move this forward. Move these guys forward. It looks like the corner of the mouth is looks like it's uh, pointing out too far. I'm just going to bring that in.
let's get to the back of the head. I'm gonna go to edge mode. And I wanna grab these edges, extrude, and pull back. Just like that. Add some cuts. All right, press Q. Perspective mode. Grab these right here. I'm going to extrude it. I'm just going to pull it this way. And now I just got to shape it vertex by vertex. So I'm going to edge, pull that down. Edge. Now I gotta match these edges to the back of the head because we're going to bridge it together. So I got one, two, three, four divisions. So I gotta make four divisions in here. So I gotta grab my insert edge loop tool, mix one, two, one, two, three, right there, and right there. So press Q, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Click bridge. And I also want to match the amount of divisions to the side. So I got one, two, three, three. And I'm good to go. All right, so I'm just gonna go into vertex mode. Merge these verts together. Merge. Merge. Actually, yeah, okay. Hit mesh, merge, G, G, G. All right, so that puts a triangle right there. I'm just gonna go along this line as well. And go all the way down. So I'm going to go to the orthographic side view. Now I gotta follow the silhouette of the head.
and it's the same idea, I just follow the contour. So I'll select points that are on the head and I'll move them in my side view. So if I go perspective view, because at this point we are done with our front view, you can change this view right here. We're going to panels, perspective, perspective. down there I just want to go vert by vert and move it 